but life going to never stop being tiring. So you're going to have to get up and do that shit, even if it's like... Like, do you want to be tired doing the damn thing or do you want to just be tired? Welcome back, guys. <laughs> We're here again. Well, happy, happy New Year! Year! <laughs> I see a hand going up. I'm like, the build up, the build up. What uh, day is coming on, on exactly? I, I don't know. The 9th. Yeah. The 9th. That's Wait. still. Caribbean time. people say Happy New Year till Since February. Ex- sometimes even April. Okay. It's the first time you see the person for the year. Uh, That's the rule. Exactly. So, Happy New Year, lovely happy people. Happy New Year, guys. Wish you the best for this new Honestly. year. Honestly, it's 2020. For yes. greatness, prosperity, everything. success. Oh, um, wait, let me finish the intro. It's your girl, Jojo Renee. Fact, 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 and you fact. are tuning to episode 23, guys. And you know what we decided? We said we're we going to take it back to the Beninging. We're going to give y'all English this time. We butchered the Icelandic. We tried. Yeah, probably. We tried in the last episode. So, um, what? 23? Episode 23, yeah. Yeah, We're gonna say yeah, in yeah. The English accent, 23. yeah. All that, well, I, don't, I don't know how to say like Scottish. <laughs> like, I can't do like. Yeah, all I like know is 23. Say our oh, 23. 23. Mm, real, so like 23. Caribbean 23. 23. Exactly. Yeah, so welcome to episode 23, guys. The first episode for the year. Like, this year, I honestly, I was telling. Kristen and Haiti, like my life path number is eight. Mm-hmm. If, if y'all don't know what that is, it's just you basically add up all the, the numbers in your date of birth. And if you get two figures, you add those together and you get your life path number. And I just made 26 and two plus six is eight. And we're in 2024 mm-hmm. and two times four is eight. And if you put 20, 24, two plus zero plus two plus four is eight. <laughs> so... <laughs> Is he about to be? Lip. <laughs> That's exactly what I wanted to say. <laughs> so yes, guys. Oh I genuinely hope everybody had like an amazing New Year's. I hope you still in your motivating mm-hmm. dopamine mm-hmm. phase of really killing it for the New Year. And we hope that this episode just brings you more motivation, more life, more vibes. And... Yeah, I guess. Yeah, I generally wish you the best. I would say how you feeling, but I know how you feeling we because we spoke feeling. about it like yeah. an hour ago. But how was your year? Ooh. Let's switch it up. How yeah. was how was your year? How was 2023? I feel like um it was a real roller coaster, that's so generic. But nah, talk your shit. I feel like 2023 was a real roller coaster. Like I had so many amazing things happen to me in 2023. The podcast, the fact that we started, this was one of the biggest highlights for me. I never talk about the fact that I actually graduate. Girl! (laughs) Big up yourself (laughs) again. That was one of those long study years, guys. Graduated after 10 years in the country. Um, So that was huge for me. Yeah. And at this point, I've been back home three times. Mm-hmm. That is insane. In one year. In one Fact. year. Oh, Look at you. I need to yeah. get you a KLM gift card. <laughs> uh, my mother. Give it to my mother. But, uh, um, so that was all the highlights. But then, you know, I feel like we talk about, uh, I never get this personal, but just like on a personal level, like where me. I was, yeah. you know, like mentally, mm-hmm. heartbrokenly. Yeah. Um, I feel like where I am now is such a good place, though. So that's what I mean. Like, it's all like... I love that for you. <laughs> you could hear it unsticking, right, guys? We put up decorations and we and just hear it. The the They're checking, like, we've done, we did it for the last episode, but guys... Uh, if anything, that is New Year's, like, you're exact. just collecting the pieces. Exactly. Yeah. Your tree yeah. falling off and browning. Exactly. Plus... The Christmas decorations checking, like guys, it's time for us to just dip out. But anyway, well, continue. Really but um, no, so it was all over the place. But I feel like ultimately, like uh, I was trying to think of like 
I find it so funny when you think of who you was a year ago or two years ago, or three years ago. You just always be like, "There's nowhere, yeah. no how how much can I grow from this?" Yeah, and then I just be like, "A year <gasps> just passed," and I just be like, "Yo, yo!" Like all the insight I have now and how much I feel like I really know myself now. Even though Kristen just mentioned a YouTube video, I remember making a YouTube video feeling like I had all the knowledge in the world, mm-hmm. and it's like who I was then to now in general like this year made me feel like i really know who i am as a person and i can't wait to take that into the new year yeah i love that how about you um yeah wait i'm just digesting what Mm -hmm. you just said i love that i think that's amazing i'm excited for you in this new year genuinely Mm -hmm. i think it's about to be fucking i think so jesus (laughs) um yeah for me i feel like this year has been me reintroducing myself to myself a lot Mm. haiti knows i wanted to move first to ghana (laughs) then i wanted to move to london (laughs) and now i'm staying in the netherlands Mm -hmm. but it's also a level of like i've been finding myself so much this year i think i've been on this journey of finding myself for time but i think i've really found who i am in 2023 Mm -hmm. And I think that just had to do with also the people around me mm-hmm. and big up my journal. I feel like <laughs> one time for the two genuinely, times. guys, I do this thing where I reread my journals and I'm I'm telling y'all it's wild. Mm-hmm. It's just like, you know, when you're younger, and you don't see how much you grow. But when somebody ain't see you for a week, they be like, well, you get tall. <laughs> Is that level of like when you journal? And you reflect and you go back to what you write. It's so crazy mm. to see what I wrote, but also to feel where, where I was, was in that moment mm-hmm. and to realize how much I've changed. And I feel like this year has really taught me so much. And the biggest standout for this year is love and becoming softer. Mm. I feel like I've become much softer in who I am because I find I used to be a bit stable. Mm-hmm. I mean... I'm wearing gray. I used to be like a rock. Mm -hmm. And I feel like now I'm really going into that and embracing that level of softness. Because even when I would say something soppy, you Mm -hmm. know, I'm a soppy bitch. Mm -hmm. I would be like, oh, guys, I don't want to sound corny. Now it's like, are you going to take this corn? Mm -hmm. Go get some cheese. We're going to add some cheese to it, too. (laughs) So I genuinely feel like last year was a year of just really reintroducing myself to myself. And Mm -hmm. I finally feel like now the introduction is made there's no more as we continue to grow as just you say i feel like i have a lot of knowledge now yeah but, but i know more gonna pull up <laughs> exactly. like genuinely but i just feel like the foundation of me is really set mm-hmm. so i feel like whatever pull up that core is established and i'm really excited so yeah. i'm excited for you i'm excited for us bitch <laughs> i think one thing i gotta mention too because I, I really genuinely feel like one thing that uh, has allowed me to grow a lot is this freaking podcast. It really has, yeah. Um, we we was saying it for time that we're going to start a podcast. And in 2023, we really finally started a podcast. And I think it's one of the best things mm-hmm. we we done for both ourselves. Mm-hmm. I feel like I speak for us both when we genuinely say, like, this is one of the best things we've done. I feel like I learned so much. I am able to reflect. This is like a journal. If we it go really back to is. the first episode, yeah. you see how you grow, even our thoughts on certain things, you see how it develops mm-hmm. and how it changes. And it's just that level of like, I genuinely think 2023, BTB, it rhymes. So it must make it sense. Does. I was thinking uh, in the last episode, yeah. Julie saying how she got a letter from each friend. And I had to write, I just always tell her that like, I had really, I just really appreciate like the moment you enter my life. Cause I feel like that was a moment in my life. Like I didn't know where I was heading creatively. Yeah. But just like the space I was in and I feel like this add like, I don't know, so much to like figuring out like, okay, like I, on some kind of path that I know like contributing to like where I wanted to go. Yeah. And like I tell her like she's just an inspiration, like how she is as a person. So, so like, no, 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 don't do it. <laughs> Let me pinch up. my flesh. <laughs> Kristen told me today because I, I'm a bit emotional today, guys. Kristen <laughs> told me this is a tip. If you like feel like you go cry, you don't want to cry. Pinch in between your thumb. Yeah, <laughs> no, but like, of course, uh, we always say like we had know each other. Yeah. But like when I had we entered my life, I was like, this girl have her masters at twenty four, and I was just like, that was twenty four. I was twenty three. Wait, 
Because you I turned 25 last year and you no, had already but had I, it. Yeah, for like two years, but COVID hit. Yeah, but I graduated you had in 2021. It. So I was, I was, oh yeah, 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 you're right. Yeah, I know. <laughs> no, I graduated in 2020, but the end of 2020. How old so you still, was? 23. Oh. Yeah, because my birthday at the end of the year. But so 2021 in summer, you was 24 though. No. 2021 summer. I was still 23 because I make birthday at the end of the year. So 2021, I would be 24 by the end of the in? year. Oh, that's a very funny question. What you in? <laughs> you would just call <laughs> oh. 23 like... Yeah, but in oh, my head, oh, like oh. the years ago, it's, it's 2024. So it's 2024. It's 2024, technically. <laughs> yeah. No, but that I mean, like, advertisement. Wait, no, what? no. Yes. Okay. Yes. <laughs> so, <laughs> but it don't matter. No, no, no. But I was just like, you know, like, and yeah. But it's to me, it's an inspiration because, like, I feel like it's just important to have people around you that just push you to be a better person, you know. And so, Pinch. yeah, I put that in a letter. That was something I put. It in was a lovely letter. But yeah, so we here. We are here, guys, and. We want to take y'all into the new year with us. And we don't know where we're going. We don't. But y'all y'all will be in the trial and error journey with us. Yeah. I think so far we've been doing good. Like, mm-hmm. our tra- we haven't got canceled. So, <laughs> <laughs> I think we're on a good foot. So I think. Caribbean podcast, like. Yeah. Ugh, we're going to say things. Yeah. And, like, Growing I don't up know. in the Caribbean, you know you got thick skin. So. I just see the meme where it's like, Caribbean people need to really hang up the whole you gain weight shit when they just meet. Like, yes, auntie. I know. That's still a thing, like, guys. Like, this shit, it was just on my phone, I was scrolling. But the things you say, coming from the Caribbean, like, sorry. Like, we might say stuff, but... Oh, so let's leave that in 2020, um, wow. two. The the thing that the aunties just pull up and say... But then we're in good thing. Oh, I'm going I to gonna tell y'all. I'm going to go see Martin this year. Because are you because of my energy? I haven't been in the gym, so I don't feel like... <laughs> as much as I want to be, like, as in my sh- body, in my shape. But, mm-hmm. yeah. I can tell I can get it at least once. Well, I in the spirit of like being, you know, leaving shit behind. We're going to start with the questions. We have yeah, we had a episode. Russian roulette and we did this in the Christmas episode too. There's a question that leads into what you're talking about. And I was like, <laughs> let me find it and take it out. <laughs> so um, what are we leaving in 2023? Ooh. That you is the question. Already? I need to think. But I'm, but I'm going to get heat for this. Nah, I ain't saying it. Why? Crocs, guys. Like, I'm <laughs> but, sorry. And I, was, and and I, I have Crocs. Didn't buy it. I, I didn't. They were <laughs> bought didn't? for me. Uh-oh. So, no, but that's bad. <laughs> like, if you like Crocs, and I know a lot of SM people Same like Crocs. Same people love Crocs. But I, okay, Crocs and SM make sense. Hair? I don't, I don't see Crocs in Europe. In your house. Pantoffles. Yeah, I don't have a, I don't own a pair of Crocs either, guys. Yeah, so I, I don't come with me, guys. Go get your Croc clips. Go get your Crocs. I just don't really. I. I they look like they're turtles on your feet. They're very comfortable, but so are many other shoes, like that look less reptile-y. Like I find they look like turtles on your feet. You know the backyard against? I feel like the backyard against would wear Crocs. Like that, that would have been the staple shoe. <laughs> but no, that one just came to my mind. Let me actually think about it. Did you come up with one? Oh fuck! I'm so into this crack thing. <laughs> Since I live in 2023, oh, but I feel like I leave so much shit already. I don't know if that's something specific I live in in 2023, but yeah, I, I can save that for the episode. Oh, we were about. Mm. hmm, hmm. Let's actually proper thing. You should put the like you know the elevator. Yeah, because I really want to think of my one. <laughs> What would I want to leave into it? Um, um, emotional immaturity. Mm. Let's do that. Let's leave that in 2023. I think it's quite a big ask to say let's leave that in 2023. But I think a level of being aware and becoming more emotionally mature should be a goal for a lot of people. I feel like when we do this whole new year, new me shit, we always talking about goals based on career and goals mm. based on like just general stuff, I really feel like you should actually make your mental health, but also your emotional health, like a goal. Cause I don't see that being made a goal enough. Mm. And that's why I would say I would leave emotional immaturity because I don't know. I just feel like be in touch with your emotions, but also be aware that maybe how you approach situations or how you respond to things based off of emotion is not the best way to deal with it. And yeah, go from there. 
I feel like that's a good pivot from the Crocs. Yeah. But I just remember, because you have them over there, but last New Year's, Judy had write a bunch of questions on the paper. I you had did. dig in it to answer. They and I think deep. I had put that I'm going to stop trying to come across strong all the time. And I think yes. I definitely tried, did that this year. So I want to continue that. No. Like, you want to not continue that? No, as in like 2023, I feel like I didn't come up. Like, I feel like I was very vulnerable all the times so I should have been. So I feel like I don't want to get back into that place of feeling like I need to be strong all the time. So I want to continue that yeah. as I go into the new year in 2024. Yeah. But other than that, I feel like, and sometimes it's not as a, how to put it? Because like for your birthday, they was asking what's a personality trait of yours that is getting into problems. And I'll just be like, I don't know. And maybe people need to tell me about myself, but I just feel like I feel like I work so hard to be this person. Talk your shit. So I just be like, what, 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 what would I have to leave in 2023? But it's not even based on you, girl. We coming for people, them. Oh, <laughs> we I great. Was, um, We're perfect. As a person. <laughs> no, the Crocs. I thought because oh, you, you thought I should leave my Crocs. I thought because you got a Crocs and you realized yeah, they you are left in, in 2023. I mean, I did leave my Crocs. They buy these. Oh, deep. if you're talking about <laughs> other people, yeah, like general <laughs> stuff. <laughs> Bitch, I'm emotionally intelligent. I would like to think. <laughs> Maybe you have some self realization. No. Like, oh, okay. I mean, in general, I think for me, like this is the first year where I feel like survival mode has finally like taken a backseat. Mm-hmm. So yes. I would like to keep survival mode in twenty 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 three. Next year, I just wanna, I just wanna exist. I just wanna exist. Soft life, babe. No, yeah. I, oh, ooh, Kristen, that's a shape. really good one. I really think survival mode should be completely obliterated. I'm gonna use big words right now because. That's something I feel like a lot of us had to do. What with. survival mode are you? I feel like when I used to be around men, I would be in survival mode. <laughs> Whoa! I'm for my life. Sorry, but just that level of like, it's not even survival mode based on a sense that I'm going to die. It's based on the fact that our brains are basically wired to either be in fight or flight. And I feel like with certain things that happen to us, your brain automatically thinks in survival mode. It could be the smallest thing. Milk could drop on the floor and Mm. you could be thinking in survival mode. And it's not like you could completely diminish it, but I feel like there's a lot of cases where I'm around people and I feel like I'm in survival mode because I feel like my brain is finding ways to not die because it thinks it's under threat. Mm. So that causes my anxiety also to be like... In survival. Yeah. yeah. So I feel like that's a big one because I think genuinely... This going to be harsh, but for all you people out there who feel like you're in survival mode with people, yes, we need to have grace, but protect yourself at the same time. Because I feel like there's cases where where I'm at in my life right now mm. is because I protected myself and I'm surrounded by amazing people who feel like my parachutes. Ooh, snap, snap, word, 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 word. Um, I just genuinely, myself it was like, <laughs> I feel like everybody who's like, in I'm my life right now, they feel like my parachutes. I feel like they are there when I feel like I'm falling and I need to pull Mm -hmm. to just be okay. And I think that is rare. I I am beyond grateful for it. Mm -hmm. And I think with my birthday passing, I really felt it on the next level. But I generally feel like that's something we need to create in our life. I feel like with a survival mode is a level of we could leave in 2023, but we need to know how because... I think it, it's been hard to set boundaries. It's been hard to be like straight up or mm-hmm. sometimes I think I'm being a diva because, oh, I asked for certain, I could be a diva. But at the end of the day, I also know who I am and being able to protect myself and not have to feel like I'm being chased by a bear <laughs> is important. That yeah. Sucks. I was thinking on like, as you were speaking, that whole because something I realized this year is like we just think like that whole new no new friend shit. Mm. Like a lot of people feel like, nah, I have all my friends. I, go, I blame Drake. Da, 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 for that, right? <laughs> but I feel like as you get older, especially different in this country, like yeah. sometimes for me specifically, like a lot of my friends move back. And I feel like as the years went by, like I openly embrace new people into my life. I feel like going into the new year, stop trying to feel like as an adult you can't make friends yeah like it's really not that deep you have one life yeah like you could actually meet genuine people out here that actually are great people and they didn't have to know you 10 years ago to be your friend exactly. today and i feel like 
that's something we should leave next last year like no new friends it's no funny friends. it's yeah. funny that you say that because like uh jody had asked what what it what is a uh, survival mode mm. to you mm. and i think like survival i've been in survival mode since like 2017 i think like consistently yeah um uh and i feel like what also came out of survival mode was uh yeah just this feeling of not trusting mm. and this year what i realized is that even though i was felt like i was out of the survival mode and there was no need any little thing from people that i should be trusting yeah was automatically me like i don't take this like exactly. i'm picking up on the signs this mm, and that blah, exactly. blah, and i was ready to cut everything and then i realized that like the main reason why i'm actually reacting like that is because i had experienced so many of the people that are closest to me family mm -hmm. friends mm -hmm. that just did trifling trifling things mm -hmm. that i would never do mm -hmm. so i guess like yeah like staying out of um survival mode just means also just realizing that like yeah you've made your boundaries yeah and now you know that the people around you should be people that you trust exactly so you should be able to like yeah yeah i'm gonna call you but you also have to trust your we said this word before like discernment in making new friends that understand that like not because the person you in your life you can't trust them exactly and i think that's something we have maybe it's a we have that as black people in general like we don't trust everybody and every and anybody that come into your space mm -hmm. But because they've had people that you know for years that went against your boundaries and you Facts. lose your trust, and they have people that you can meet today that actually surpass and surprise you. Because I was thinking, I like even us sitting in this room three years ago, we would never think we would be here, but we are. Look at and you. I just have that at work a lot. Like yeah. shout out to you, Asha. Like this, I've heard so much great things about you, Asha. Oh, <laughs> my gosh she's another one of those people that's like i genuinely love when we finish our class and i'll be like put our head by the doors and it's like you're gonna still like oh like she's such an amazing human being and i'll just be like i was telling her this week that the first day i went to work there i went to replace her yeah because she was on pregnancy leave so i didn't see her that first day i was working at our school and then at the end of the year we just have this like how you did as a teacher yeah. conversation with your boss and he tells me he was like when asha come back y'all will have such a click and i was uh, just like ah. you just know but i was just like ah yeah touch my no, no, nothing. yeah <laughs> and then like for her to come and like to just have like a work bestie like that yeah. and i just really, really think like how weird life is that yeah. I, I have the same. Like, For me, I have it with D. I know. Yeah, everybody. D is my left butt cheek. Nah, <laughs> she's my right butt cheek because my sister's my left butt cheek. But we've only been friends a year and change. And people think we've been friends forever. And that's why I feel like time really is not a mm -hmm. determination of value. And I feel like that should really be taken, put in a bag and thrown out the fucking window. Because we meet so many people. And I'm not saying the people I had for years aren't you know they they don't have that they hold that value and it's different levels of value i feel like there's that value of having somebody who's been with you through times that have been hard or the even times that have been good or crazy times but i also feel like in this friendship that i was able to form i don't tell all you that's my girl as in like no homo but she's my girl we <laughs> send each oh, other yeah, good yeah, morning yeah, texts yeah, like okay, yeah. there's a level of just we've been able to build that foundation so quickly that it it has me so like take it like flabbergasted i'm like wait mm -hmm. what she knows so much about me well we know how everybody know about me because <laughs> we played a game for my birthday it was so much fun oh my God. but it's just that level of like i threw away that idea of you need that time in friendships or we've been together for we've been friends for this long da 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 I genuinely feel like if you just open and open to being vulnerable mm -hmm. i think where i'm at now I'm just going to be vulnerable. Look, at the end of the day, guys, I'm an open book. If you take what I say and you go talk about it to Tom, Dick, and Harry, do your thing. That says enough about you. I don't give a shit. But that level of, of me being vulnerable from the jump mm -hmm. allows me to see quicker, like, if you meant to be there or not. I get you. I feel yeah. like a lot of people are scared to be vulnerable, but the longer you wait out, the, the harder it's going to hit you when it actually goes left, in my opinion. Because it's like, think you just meet somebody and you're checking like, mm, let me be on my P's and Q's yeah. a little bit, which is normal. I think it's good to have that discernment and not, I get excited about shit. So in the beginning, I'm like, oh my God, I love you so much. Mm -hmm. But have that level of like, 
okay, be in the moment, but don't overdo it. But also, you don't need to trust the person off the bat. I feel like if you trust yourself. Yeah, it's more about trusting yourself. Yeah. And not the person, actually, exactly. at the end of the day. But I know, I, I, I don't know why we like that. I think for me, like, because I, I do have a lot of friends for years. Yeah. Like, my aunt since the womb. Yeah. Cabone. And I think because of that, like, as I went through life, the circle I had got smaller and smaller. It's like, wow, you taught these people that you know for years. Yeah. Like, would stick around and you realize it becomes half. It's and you, What you say, Kristen, is like, you, you, you expect it more out of those people. Exactly. And then you just go through life trusting people less. But I, and, but a lot of my friends I still have to this day, they still do for the years, but mm. I ain't going to, like, block myself off of no. new connections that could come I mean, into them. Exactly. I feel Even like, though I did have know you, but it was no, just like, but yeah. I feel like all the friends who I have now that are close to me, I've all, I've built those friendships in Holland. If I look at mm. Ellie, Detty, you D, the, mm-hmm. they're all that's friendships true. i built here look shout out to michelle that's my guy we've been <laughs> friends since kindergarten that's family and i have so many friends that i've been friends with for years it's just the friends that i really have like close close to me right now i've actually formed those friendships with the longest one was six years mm. and yeah cool for some people you got the womb you got this and that yeah. but i think what we just want to generally try to say is Time doesn't determine value mm-hmm. and bring yourself to the table. Like genuinely, if somebody's not um up to par with who you are, just dip. That is the thing. And I think moving forward before we go to the next session, because we don't yeah. this one question along. We have around like <laughs> leave that in the new year that at the end of the day is how you go about the situation. I and totally forget person. this was from the question. Yeah, I we just got thought questions. we were having a <laughs> 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 yeah like, the whole new new friends like, it's up to you at the end of the day which friends you choose literally so, yeah let's go to the next uh, question guys okay bom. okay what oh <laughs> what advice would you give to someone that's been <laughs> saying new year new me but it's still the same me <laughs> what are you doing bro mm. I don't but okay, they need advice. Yeah, so what but would I feel you like, tell first them? First of all, I'm going to compliment you that you're realizing that every year <laughs> you're the same position. The first step to solving the problem is realizing you have a problem. <laughs> right? I like that approach. Because they have people out there that probably every year the same person and they don't know. Yeah. But I feel like you would really it goes back to like doing the work at the end of the day. Yeah. And Jody just talk about journaling and yeah. how like important that is to just write down where you are in that moment because if you document where you are throughout the year mm. and i just like read back journals in the year yeah like not i don't know if you do it only at the end of the year you just, something that i just Sorry. go through like why write like last month was like wow like the fact that i don't think that we're like, wow i still do yeah and i think having those moments with yourself to actually get up and do the work and read about what you Mm-hmm. had a problem with it. could get you through the the year in general yeah but i just feel like it goes back to the my muscle thing that you say that you said on episode thing one episode one two or three mm-hmm. that like doing the work as a person just like how you just get up and go in the gym and train something yeah. a lot of it is you have to train your brain to do something exactly and so you're going to have to put in the work mm-hmm. whether that is i don't know it could be anything that you've been trying to change whether that's weight i get you yeah i get you like you have to get up and do that or whether that's like you had a plan for your business and you're still in doing it mm. or you still have 50 people around you and you're tired of that like you're going to have to get up and think like, and essentially in life i just be trying, trying to tell my students that i know you're tired but life going to never stop being tiring so you're going to have to get up and do that shit even if it's like like do you want to be tired doing exactly. the damn thing or do you want to just be tired yeah and yeah. you want to be happy that you at least tried or did yeah. the damn thing and it's like that's exactly. what you're gonna have to do exactly and that's all the advice i could give you i love that okay you go off big sis yeah um <laughs> for me y'all know i'm guys if i ramble i'm sorry but i'm so big on just growing and changing mm-hmm. and becoming the best self um the first thing i would say is what i do at least I do a life audit. So what it basically is, you just look at the different areas of your life, write down what works for me, what doesn't work for me. Mm. Make a two list, like pros and cons. And really see the things that you're doing in your life that doesn't contribute to who you want to be. 
now who do you want to be mm. i feel like this y'all should pay for this course um <laughs> <laughs> really sit down i'm telling y'all don't type it don't don't text it get a piece of paper a book why would you should buy a book get buy a, a book. journal but if you don't just get anything that you, get some some cardboard <laughs> anything you can write on <laughs> get it and write down who you want to be mm. and don't be afraid to write down like if you want to be somebody who lives in a floor to ceiling window apartment on the 50th floor and you know it costs like a mill don't be afraid to write that down write mm. it down because at the end of the day you create your reality and if you can't see what reality you want to create you're not going to get there so i genuinely feel like first step who are you? Who do you want to be mm-hmm. going into this new year? I love how you just sit here like, yeah. No, like I'm really thinking about like, okay, like, like what, what, what do I write down? But oh, uh, we need to do this together. <laughs> but um, yeah, write down who you want to be. You could um make it in um sizable, digestible like paragraphs. So what I learned by my wait, guys, my brain is farting. What do you want? Wait, to let be? it pass. It's gone. So what I learned in my study is the teacher asked me on the first day, how do you eat the elephant? I was like, this man, why? Like, how are you going to ask me how to eat my favorite animal? Yeah. And um, <laughs> he oh. said, you cut it up into pieces. Now I like this man even wilder. Now you want me to kill the animal. But what he means by that is genuinely, you can't just say, oh, floor to ceiling window apartment, one mil, mm. but not know how to make it happen. Who you are as a person comes, it, it's made up of so many different things and define those and then work from there so personality wise character who do i want to be Mm -hmm. to the people around me who do i want to 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 give off you can have an example of somebody who you think is lit and just go off of there Mm. career what do i want to do do not think limited if you i feel like i'm a tele um one of them telemarketing commercials but genuinely do not think limited if you want to be somebody who flies airplanes but you didn't even study that Still define that and work backwards. Mm-hmm. So that's my work. first. I was going to say, be a conductor first. Like, Shit. That. Like, get in the cockpit. But I feel like on that, like, when you write on who you want to be, you're going to have to really know, like, how you get there, too. Exactly. You work it, backwards. Work, yeah. So step by step, step, chop up the elephant. Exactly. And then <laughs> from there, like, one thing I'm going to tell everybody, don't think you're going to be that person in a day. Mm. Don't think that you're going to be that person in a year. One thing I mentioned on a previous episode is, and I think that's the same episode, you can't expect to have all these goals and be able to accomplish them. Mm. I hate the culture of this whole thing, write down 10 goals and go for them. No, it's, it's you are literally telling yourself to jump, skip, flip, roll, lie down, sleep, eat, shit, pee. At the same time, you can't do it. And I'm not going to be out here saying, oh, no, you could. No. Figure out at least three things. So be realistic. Three. Yeah, about, really be. Y'all know I, yeah. I don't like, like I hate saying realistic, but genuinely it is realistic. And it is something that your brain is just only wired to do. So be realistic. What am I going to start doing? One thing that I'm going to start mm-hmm. doing that I will not fail. Like if you say you're going to the gym, let that be the one thing you choose to be disciplined in. Mm-hmm. If you want to go eat junk food, go eat junk food. But like really just yeah. The fact that you went to the gym. Yeah. Start start with something and then go from there. <laughs> Sorry, we we can't get any signals. Huh? I was just like, teacher, I could say something. Of oh. course, student. Let me t- <laughs> let me hear it. you huh? <laughs> I've been yeah I'm I'm Such also like one. ADHD you know I'm very much bulldozer energy I have to be told to like no, you know no, like no. zoom I mean, calls you got to raise your hand I don't mean, interrupt work like they don't <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> No but uh, on that note also um because also neurodivergent some people just find it just very hard to stick to one thing especially once you're in it even break it up into seasons so like say like okay mm. for the first quarter of the year um you know that cuz people are also seasonal some people mm-hmm. really under stuff like i think i am really in my most active mode between october and december every Mm. year it's always like i sacrifice my sleep and all my weekends for whatever reason and then again maybe in i don't know summer maybe Mm. i don't know so maybe figure out reflect over your years and see where are you most like um yeah active or that's true yeah where are you most active um 
when do you need your rest? And even though winter is essentially where I'm the most active, winter is also a time where the whole world goes to sleep. The trees disappear, yeah. everything disappear. If you know that in the winter, like that's your thing, then that should be a time where you should maybe be, maybe not necessarily going to the gym the entire time, but making sure that, um, yeah, you give yourself the extra care to be able yeah. to get the energy to do those things. It's so. actually like the trees. So fun fact, guys, mm. we think it's so sad to see the trees lose their leaves. You know, it's actually freaking beautiful because now the trees are focusing on their roots. Mm -hmm. So when you see that trees don't have leaves in the winter, that's just because they, they're going back to the foundation of themselves to rebuild that, to then sprout out and the blossom. leaves again. So it's that level of be mindful. We are still in winter, especially for the people in Europe where it's, you, you can see in your face you're in winter, but be mindful of that <laughs> and really just focus on yourself unapologetically. Yeah. And... Another tip. I'm going to start with the tips because I will go on for days, guys. Kombucha, all of that <laughs> shit. But no, another tip. It says new year, new me. You can't expect to be a new you if you're doing the same shit. Do new shit, guys. Mm. Like, I started pole dancing. I do more painting. We did clay together. Mm -hmm. And it was like really one of the first times I proper made a, a mm -hmm. thing out of clay. And I don't know. You just start to unlock levels of your brain that... I feel like we didn't have access to. Yeah. And it trickles into my life beyond what I'm doing just creatively. Like, I feel like with the people I'm able to interact with, I mean, I interact better. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, that's that's my yeah. tip. I had listened to it. You're like, wow. Guys, no, no. <laughs> and you know what it is? I really feel like I could go on for days, but I don't want to... No, I don't I want it to you. become a lecture because I could see myself. I ain't gonna just look FYI, I, but, Sagittarius is the teacher, but uh, by the way, teacher, so is the teacher is the wise Davis. people. Oh no! What's the Pisces then? <laughs> Pisces is also ruled by Jupiter, which is the planet of wisdom. So yeah, Pisces. If oh, anything, yeah. they already been there, done that. They're the last. <laughs> they're the last the sign, the so they know how it is. <laughs> okay, let's go to the next question. What are your goals for BTV? And in the, I feel like you draw two questions. By the way. That's my I first did, question. I? What are your goals for BTB in the new year? You should have slapped my hand. I couldn't remember. I didn't. <gasps> we need Elisha. <laughs> yeah. What are... You want to answer first? Oh. Okay. Well, <laughs> we have different things that we want to accomplish. Of course, they have like the numbers game of just like reaching a thousand subscribers. So make sure you subscribe right now if you still Hello, guys. <laughs> New year, new subscriber. Exactly. I feel like, well, first it's 500, but then in the year of 2024, I would really want to reach the 1,000 and yeah. passing that. And, um, I don't know. Side note. You know what's going to be so wild? When we looking back and we have like 100K subscribers and we see it like, oh, this episode we said, let's reach a, a thousand, thousand, guys. I know, exactly. <gasps> yeah. Um, And just growing, like, because I feel like I love... We've, we can probably do a thank you just now, but we've really grown, I, I would say, blow up in the past month and reach a certain avenues that we didn't see coming. Yeah. But we had a feeling. Yeah. But sometimes it'll just come unexpectedly. Like you wake up, you funny, you see so much people like follow the crazy. Page. And so I just want to continue that because I really feel like people just appreciate the Caribbean accents and two Caribbean women on a couch talking. Yeah. And I feel like I would love to continue sharing that to more yeah listeners i love it um but as numbers wise i feel like within what we're doing i would love to just explore different contents because we have ideas and stuff we want to do but actually getting the time to do it and like you know like continue because that is really odd and I feel like add to my growth because yeah. we say it just really help us. So subscribe, guys, because <laughs> without your like subscription, you none True. of this is possible. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Um. What was saying though? Oh no! Like I f we say that everything we do in the podcast has helped us as a person grow. So I feel like every time we do something new or whatever, like we came to the studio and that was something new for us, but we have other things that we would want to do, and I feel like that's going to add to who we are. Yeah. So, but yeah. And of course, there's other things. I don't know if you had other things. Yeah. Oh, I'm ready. So, guys, <laughs> now, nah, um, I think for me, genuinely, is to continue to grow a community that is also becoming organic. Mm -hmm. I feel like big up all the people who've been supporting, especially SM. I feel like our biggest supporters come from SM. Mm -hmm. And also, we notice it now that we're really getting organic viewers, people mm -hmm. who we don't know, people mm -hmm. who come from places around the world dance yeah <laughs> and 
it's so beautiful to kind of see, even in the comments you know how people comment under the whole dance hall is poetic yeah. they're just saying lyrics and stuff just to see there's people having debates in the comments mm-hmm. for me building that community and just that level of I don't know Support. being able to interact with mm-hmm. so many supporters and even people who don't support being able to navigate that I think that's a big goal because I think we're going to continue to learn how we just navigate this whole podcast podcast journey in- Journey. guys we put him in a double episode bear with me what are we doing wow we are yeah. but yeah podcast journey in general and for me personally my goal is to continue to like be so unapologetically us mm-hmm. i feel like we've been doing this for almost a year and i feel like now more than ever i i bring myself to the table yeah y'all know i say wild shit but now i feel like i say wild shit without saying i still say sorry sometimes but new year, new me. You ain't mm-hmm. gonna hear that. But stuff like that and just continuing to learn about things maybe we never even thought about talking mm-hmm. about. And yeah. Working just, with certain like I would love to see who we get to work with too. Yeah. Like I would be it would be a goal, I think, for both of us to work with certain individuals. Hands down. We just actually generally have fun with the guests that we have here on the couch. Cause yeah. it'll just be wholesome and something you add to a memory of the podcast yeah so i would love to see who yeah is on the couch so btb oh, about to be mic. lit oh that's sorry okay. yeah okay. no but people gonna hear it <laughs> oh yeah but yeah genuinely i think for 2024 is only up consistency i know a lot of people say like guys keep up do keep doing what you're doing mm-hmm. and we will like we we genuinely love this so yeah yeah Okay, I next. want to say something else before we go. Oh, probably here long, but um, no, I was gonna say something we were talking about. Majority is that like some, we realize a lot as we every episode that we get more vulnerable, and more vulnerable. So I guess that's what you mean. We like just come here and be and be me, be us. How like, are you gonna know everything still? No, no, no. But I do feel like even me being here right now. Yeah. I mean, I mean, we said we're gonna share everything about our life. Now. I mean, like sometimes I just hold back what I want to say. Yeah, and that's a difference, you know. Yeah. So facts. Yeah. You could pick again because I picked twice. Oh yeah. The orange one was speaking to me. What are things you feel like you have to unlearn? That's why I was speaking to you. <laughs> I did because remember we was on the phone and you said something unlearned i was like bitch i but just opened that now, question um february so now it's like Ugh. oh no just in general okay yeah february uh, is a different story yeah 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 but now i gotta think other than well Ooh. um things i have to on learn are you asking yourself these questions too please yeah i feel like there's stuff we gotta unlearn but we don't we don't even think about it like we don't think, hmm, what is something, what is a way that I think right now that is not productive? I don't know if it's something with unlearned, but something with like letting go. Mm-hmm. Something I have to let go of. But I don't know if that's the same as unlearning. But like Is it the same as forgiving? <laughs> <laughs> no. But wait, you mean just letting go? Is but maybe it's a letting go unlearn. I feel like growing up, especially in the Caribbean, I had like this set way of thinking how my life would go yeah and um just how i would just picture my life going and i feel like i have to let go of that plan i like that and that comes with like i don't know if that's unlearning though that's just letting go but you unlearning that attachment to it yeah there we go yeah like you <laughs> gonna make it work somewhere yeah and yeah. like because i don't do well with change i realize yeah. i don't do well with change but as the years have gone by like i've learned to adapt to it so i've learned that already ah, but okay um knowing that when the change come though like no because did i learn it if i still here i feel like i have to let go of it but anyway no but because mm. i've no I've, it's something i had realized i was not good with change yeah but Plus, you maybe clean the surface, but it's still a little smidge. Yeah, but I feel like there are certain things I probably just thought that, like, I'm going to not change. So, like, that's going yeah. to be it. So, yeah. but as life go on, that, like, change is going to come. And whatever it is, I need to embrace it. And that can just be part of my story. I love that. Yeah. It's similar to mine. I feel like I need to unlearn control. Mm. I, I've become more and more detached from outcomes. Yeah. So, I do think... I've cleaned the surface, but there's still this, the smudges there. Yeah. Where it's like, 
even for my birthday. You know how many questions I asked because I didn't know what was happening. I'm like, guys, I was what's so happening? glad. I was like, oh. yeah, but like, also, I was like, after, I to yeah, <laughs> after like the first couple of questions, I was like, Jody, let it go. Uh huh. Like, just let let whatever flow flow, because I have a of a way of like if something is flowing a specific way, I'll start putting like little contraptions to make it flow uh, another way and at the end of the day it will but continue to flow but also who shows up flow. to their birthday party and gives everybody a letter about themselves like this girl come and give everybody that was there a letter about themselves and I was just like I really girl, appreciate it's, it. not, it's not about us today no it was about you. y'all too cause y'all like, contributed to the person I am today still, you know y'all like, get a damn letter and y'all get a letter <laughs> like I literally said it I was like <laughs> I I had I had so much joy just writing oh about the people gosh. in the room. I know, but you was in there long though. I was, but I was b- before. I'm like, I'm not supposed to sentimental. I know, but I get and me my hand had hurt. At some point, I was like, I ain't. Yeah, because it was like 20 people. I know. <laughs> but earlier in the week, before your birthday, you was like, I have something I want. I was like, what's she going to do now? Yeah, on her birthday. Yeah, no, but I don't I know. Like it's just that. Just- that I just appreciate y'all. Yeah. But I wait, sidetrack what you was talking about. Yeah, because but it's a like, level of like, like I, I don't know if that's control, but I just, you wanted to like appreciate people. Yeah. yeah. With a, with a control aspect, I just think it's a level of like, I, I still need to unlearn that idea of me just really just trying to control a situation. I do think you should have a level of control on a situation, but I don't think you should control if something is going in a specific direction, I don't think you should have to keep, oh, I need to stand up to show this. So the thing is going in the direction. You don't have to keep walking behind it as it goes in that direction. Just, 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 Fuck it, girl. just, just let it go in the direction oh and maybe gosh. check up on it. You know, now and then. But anyway, that's, that's what I mean. Got up and do what? So I come with a whole like show. <laughs> I was gonna walk behind it, <laughs> but yeah. Oh my gosh! Dots. Nah. Um. No. Cool. Is it? Yeah. Is it me? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh, what were your highs and lows for twenty twenty three? Ooh. Okay. High. Bite the bullet. Low. Mm. Bite the bullet. I mm. feel like it hasn't been low in a way that has been bad. I feel like there's things we've dealt with with a podcast and together mm-hmm. that have made the highs even higher. Mm-hmm. I think this podcast literally is built on not even lows. Let, let me say trial and error. Mm-hmm. Let me even say trial. There was no <laughs> error. My brain may be <laughs> error sometimes, but yeah, I genuinely, I feel like that. Um, yeah, it's still fresh, but I feel like a low is losing mm-hmm. Ruth that I think is the lowest I've been in a while pinching my thumb um yeah I feel like the high was also being able to spend time with the people I love including her and genuinely cultivating friendships and meeting people that just really add so much value to my life and um traveling bitches Ooh, yeah. <laughs> y'all know i'd be out here so i think it was so cool to take trips this year especially like with friends i took a bus trip and i never t- i've never taken a bus trip <laughs> so i thought i was hella cool and yeah what yeah. about you um and i go i i would i'm gonna say something different because i don't have the same mm. answer but of course the podcast was a high but um <laughs> For me, a high, I also say stuff, when I was saying the roller coaster thing, so I'm trying to say something different than that, you know? Can I say a high that I really, like, proud of you for? What? It's that you fucking graduate. Like, that was oh, a high yeah. for me, too. <laughs> yeah. I could have feel the weight just... Mm-hmm. But dip. I'm going to have to do it my low. Because I said I'm going to say something different than that. Because one I of am. the questions was, like, things we... How was my 2023, right? Yeah. That was one. But, no. um, A high was that, if everybody know, one of my favorite podcasts is the Receipts Podcast. And I feel like a high was a trip to London, yeah. getting to see three of them on stage, because as we go into this new year, I can only be two of them. So I feel like it was... I don't know, like... It was bittersweet. It, no, but also, like, how ironic that I get to see their last live show as what it was known <gasps> as. Mm-hmm. And then we do that together. together. And my, how old I had me? 28? Yeah. 28. yeah. That was really a high. Yeah. And 
finally enough, a week ago, about a week ago, um, <laughs> the book club event and Tolly, she's one of the hosts, was there as a guest. And at the end, like we was literally just having a conversation about life and yeah. like this distance and the fact that like she's fucking gorgeous. But just the fact that like we was in the same room and I feel like whenever people ask me why I like them so much, I feel like they they just help me navigate like womanhood and adulthood yeah. in general, like listen it's to true. their podcast. So it was just a very high moment for me to have met one, like actually face to face in person, but also see them. And I know how much you love them. And yes. Guys, and like just see them on in live because that definitely helped who they help who I am as a person. And she was in the recap video. Yes. Uh huh. But you yeah, too, I was laughing. Like, laughing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but then it's just ironic because. Then I have my own podcast now. So it's just like an inspiration for like where we going with it. You yeah. know what I mean? So that was a high. And the low was the journey to graduating. Because <laughs> last school year, I think I had like my worst classes ever. Like yeah. energy wise. Mm-hmm. And just what it took out to me. And then having to do that every day in the midst of like one of my colleagues said, uh, they thought I wasn't, they was like, they know I was not graduate, but it was like, she not gonna yeah. do this year because we are the class that I had last year with yeah. who I was dealing with last year. And um then of course adding the work for the podcast Yo. and life. Life. Adding life. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Into that. The fact the fact that I got through those couple of months was that was, those was my lows that month. Mm-hmm. Those months. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And she made it up, guys. I we made, it, made out. it out. The trenches. We are here. We are here. But Your yeah. turn. <laughs> um, I was gonna ask Kristen. But... Oh, Kristen, what was your... another high? Kristen, being a part of this freaking podcast and oh, us being able to film in this damn yo. studio. Like genuinely, I feel like that has been our biggest milestone, and our dynamic is beautiful, mm-hmm. guys. I'm, you know, on the first day when we was talking about everything and all oh, this is happening on this day and all oh, this makes so much sense and all oh, my rising and this, it just makes sense. And yeah, sorry, Kristen, what, what was your highs and lows? Talk to the people. Um, yeah, I was just about to say, did I have lows? And I was like, yes, I did have lows. Right. Um, and those lows led to me leaving my previous house situation Ooh. with roommates. But other than mm. that, I think this year has been the highest that I've had in like since 2017 like i said so i feel like the highs have made the lows just so minuscule like the low yeah. doesn't even exist um and yeah uh the, just yeah the highs is just just feeling like you're out of survival mode that like you can live and that i'm i'm just happy and big up joe <laughs> <laughs> we did it joe i cannot i cannot <laughs> I cannot. <laughs> Skipping now. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> oh my to. gosh. Yes. Nah. Last um, question. Last question. <laughs> what are some lessons you've learned this year? Wow. Like- that's a good, that's a good last question. Oh. Uh, <laughs> 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 oh. Mm. Uh, the funny thing is we say we're going to be vulnerable, but sometimes they have certain things I learned, but it's like, I'm not going to share that on the couch. And it's understandable. But, um... Sign in to our premium. <laughs> <laughs> Coming soon. Thanks, 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 thanks. Mm. Um, lessons I learned this year. Mm, that I don't know it all. I just say that. But, like, I feel... Like, as I said earlier, I don't remember which episode at this point, but... um, <laughs> It's been a lot of episodes, guys, <laughs> if you haven't realized. That I used to think that every year I had no it all, but then it's like, you realize every year, fuck, I don't know it all because you end up in situations. It's like, I don't know how to get out of this or I don't know where to go from here. Yeah. And it's like, fuck. And then you realize you got to meet a different or access a different part of you or who you are as a person and then yeah. you just get out of it and then i realize that as i go through life i'm going to have probably a lot of those moments and i probably still not gonna know what to do with it as wise as i am as a pisces but um <laughs> <laughs> that, yeah mm. but i gonna have to just embrace it and i'm going to get through it and that's something i also learned this year that um you're going to get through it 
you're going to get to it. I'm going to get okay, to it. Okay, good. For, for, I'll yeah. be your parachute. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, for me, one of the biggest things I learned, hands down, is, and it's so straightforward, but really how you approach a situation is, mm. is going to heavily determine the outcome. I think for me, um, <laughs> I had a bad attitude. And what? like in certain instances where everybody knows I'm not shy of confrontation, Mm-mm. but I feel like how I would confront things, even if I doing it in a mature way, the energy is there. The 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 thoughts of how I genuinely feel about this is mm-hmm. there. So I feel like just realizing that the level at which you can like you approach things or you speak to people or even how you look at yourself heavily determines the outcome of just where it's going to go and what direction it's going to go. I feel like I've learned that a lot because it's helped me so much in my interactions with people. Mm -hmm. Like speaking to people now coming from a place of love, from a place of grace, but also from a place of I don't take bullshit has generally made my interactions more they're of higher quality. Yeah. And I feel like as wild as it sounds, it all has to do with me in a sense of like, yeah, people will be people. Yeah. But I feel like how I've been able to approach things has really been, whatever happens to me has been a reflection of like just me in a sense Mm -hmm. and how I bring my reactions or actions to the table. Mm. So it's something I had to learn because I think before I would approach a situation a, a specific way and expect it to go another, but it's quite naive. Yeah. So yeah, that's, that's my lesson learned yeah for sure and yeah. i learned that um bite the bullet is really a lit ass freaking podcast and if y'all are not subscribed <laughs> you what are you doing subscribe. here you know what's something i learned too that like go back to the whole trusting thing with friends and da 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 that like as i go through my all my friendships or whichever ones i come to have like i don't want to lean on the i could cut them off thing i really yeah. want to work through shit yeah like Cause yeah. I used to really be like that in the past. Was like, okay, but if it gets to whatever way, I can deal with it. Of course, they won't. If anything happened in my life or anybody was like really went trifling, trifling, yeah, yeah. But I like, I really want to work on working on friendship because friendship is really I see it just as a relationship. Like, yeah. And I think both of us had our experience mm-hmm. of that. Like, one friend and she knows who she is. Her and I had like a little falling out in a sense where I also had the same and you know I had mm-hmm, that mental mm-hmm. I had the scissors in my back <laughs> everywhere I go to cut people off and yeah. it was like I think that was also a trend of in the beginning of 2023 everybody's talking about protecting the peace and mm-hmm. this and that so I feel like it really incited this whole trend of cutting people off but like you say I it's not mm-hmm. it doesn't need to be like that I do think like what you also say, Miss Wise Lady, mm-hmm. when you say this discernment thing, mm-hmm. is that level like you know who to cut off. Yeah. But there's levels of that trend started to make you think that you just cut off people, people because. Anytime, yeah, and it's yeah. not, even if you want a relationship, how you expect to have a long relationship yeah. if that's how you think. And that's something I had to G check and kind of learn from you too. Because mm-hmm. you would always tell me about grace. And oh, yeah. Even if I would complain about something, you'd mm-hmm. be like, oh, but da, 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 da. you yeah. know, like you would give me more perspective on like, maybe you're just being too harsh. Mm-hmm. We had a, a talk in London. Guys, the, the decoration <laughs> just fell. Done, guys. <laughs> <laughs> but we had, remember, we had, I was ironing oh, my two parts. Yes, I remember, t-shirt. I remember. It mm-hmm. really put a lot of things into perspective for me where it's like sometimes something could really affect you and that's understandable. But there's levels of you're not going to just cut people off because they upset you. Mm-hmm. And I feel like that became a trend and it shouldn't be a trend. If somebody's trifling, cut them off. But you'll know. Don't just cut somebody off because maybe they did something you don't like. That's not like sus. Yeah. You know, if somebody maybe out here talking bad about you, cut them off. Yeah. But if somebody's unable to show up for you, don't cut them off because you don't know what's going exactly. on. Exactly. So yeah. I really like that addition. Yeah. And I really think that's a great way to end this episode. Yes, guys. <laughs> so if you're still here, thank you for being here. I want to wish you a happy New Year's once again. And everything we talk about, I hope you take that into your New Year's yeah. once again. Wishing everybody, honestly, more life. More lessons, life. Vibes. And more love, guys. Love. Ooh, more love. love. Yes. Like, genuinely for this year, I think. Let's do this. Let's do this. 
More love. <laughs> More love. Oh, and, shit. Yeah. Ow, my arm. That's so Gen Z. Yeah, right? they are. But it'll be doing a class like this. And but even when you say, if you, sorry, side note, we're supposed to be finishing, but oh, you could wait. If you <laughs> ask a child, how would you show me phone? They do this. What? Guys! If you say, oh, give me the gesture of like phone call or phone or whatever. Are oh, you want me to try this, this tomorrow and send out they your do video? This or yes, they do this. Do it. I'm going to do this in my mentor class, my homeroom class, and ask them. Because <sighs> they're not going to remember recording. And then I'm going to put it in my close friends and shit. What the fuck is this? They just do this. this. I just do this all the time. They do either this or this. Well, you just do this. Of course. Oh. Yo, I don't know if all you had noticed when I had um, shared a story with the. Uh, talking about how it was in high school yeah uh, mm-hmm. with falling asleep with your air and i had put like emoji uh gifts yeah mm-hmm. and i realized that one of the gifts is literally like those phones that i didn't even grow up with it's like Me from either. the 80s like yeah. a whole refrigerator with a long <laughs> stick and mm-hmm. i was kind of like there's a whole generation that don't even know what that is yeah Yo, like they don't know what cds are they don't know what usbs are Yo, a floppy disk they I definitely forget. don't know what a floppy disk is oh, no. it's, uh, some of them don't know what google is because they all use tiktok you know how wild that is? TikTok has become a search engine. More, my students ask me something the other day. They're like, how are you used to do this? I'm just like, it's so wild that are you asking so me this? I forget. Oh. And then you have chat GPT. But anyways, guys. Yeah, no, I was wishing everybody. <laughs> um, we was wishing yeah, them more everybody life, happy money. Yeah, Stay safe. You know, stay blessed. Yeah, stay safe, honestly. And stay disciplined. Yes. <laughs> like and you love got yourself. this. You oh. really got this. Love yourself throughout the whole journey. If you yeah. fall off, just hop back on. Don't beat yourself up for it. You got this. You got that's this. that's all we gonna tell y'all. And you also got the mouse or the fo- the finger to touch the subscribe button. <laughs> <laughs> so don't forget to subscribe. <laughs> I am going to do this for every episode. Anytime we talk about something, I will find a way. But yes, guys, we we want to thank y'all so much for coming into 2024 with us. We are so excited for what this year has to offer. And have a great motherfucking day. Yes, bye. Bye.